Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the time it's taken to build out Highway 2000. Now this road that we are on is Highway 2000. It is a project to build a highway from Kingston to Montego Bay and Kingston to Ocherius. The Kingston to Ocherius leg is finished and that was finished in 2012. The Kingston to Montego Bay leg is being built out in sections. It was said because of the cost, it would have been too expensive to build this entire thing in one go. But I think that was a mistake because it's a toll road and people pay toll and they have collected toll. Enough people use the road to cover the, the, the toll, to cover the cost every year to pay back for building the road via the toll that they collect this company has actually this toll thing trans jamaica highway does so well that they are now traded on the jamaica stock exchange yet the road from kingston to montego bay has not been finished yet now can you imagine the benefit you will have when driving from Kingston to Montego Bay in an hour and 45 minutes. So I think that was a huge mistake. Now, this first section of the road between Kingston and I think Sandy Bay was finished in 2006. So there were a lot of questions about the highway. One was, would Jamaican people pay toll? Would enough people use the road to cover the cost of building the road? And all those questions were answered in 2006 when the road opened that first section. It's now 2023 and the road has reached as far as Mandeville. Mandeville. And that means you have to go from Mandeville to St. Elizabeth. St. Elizabeth, or more specific, from Mandeville to Hodges in St. Elizabeth. And Hodges in St. Elizabeth to Mount Pelio and then from Mount Pelio into Montego Bay. So this road has a good 10 years left before it's finished. And I just, I think that was a huge mistake. Every step of the way, they just keep doing it in stages and they're borrowing the money. It's loans they're using to pay for the road. Before it was when the road was originally built in 2006, it was a French company. They paid to, they paid the cost of building the road. They got guarantees from the government of Jamaica and the road was built and they got a concession to collect the toll. All the way to Maypen, that formula was being used. Now, Trans Jamaica Highway owns the highway and they paid off the French and the Chinese company they paid them off so trans jamaica highway built the road con controls the road the road belongs to the jamaican government that won't change but trans jamaica highway has the right to collect the toll on the road now the road is as far as mandeville why don't they just build out the road to montego bay they're going to be charging toll so they will make back the money and it's a loan so you don't have to pay it back all at once you will collect enough money every year to cover the loan payments and the people of Jamaica will have a highway to Montego Bay at the current rate they're going they, they have not even finished the Mandeville leg it's supposed to finish in August and they are going to open it up to traffic by about July so that leg will finish but it's been delay after delay after delay now why it, it, it financially it makes more sense to build out the road you will collect more toll so if you want to go to Montego Bay today chances are you're going to take another road because this road won't go as far as Montego Bay if you want to go to Mandeville or the South Coast, this is a road you'll take. So, uh, there, are, there are many reasons you have to ask why they don't build out the road. Because 
financially it makes sense now i don't know if it's a case where if you can drive to montego bay on this road perhaps you won't be using the road the alt another route is to go on the other highway to ocho Rios and then the northern coastal highway to montego bay chances are more people will use this road so maybe that road will have less traffic i don't know if that's one of the reasons i don't know if it's because of the concession period i have no idea i just can't figure it out so guys if you know why they are taking so long to build out this road leave your comments in the section below because it's it's really really confusing as to why the road makes money so much money that the company operating it can trade on the jamaica stock exchange and they are profitable so why not build out the entire road so that you can make even more profit people will use the road of all the highways in jamaica this is the most used one in terms of well maybe yes in toll roads i'm not sure about the highway in portmore that one might have a lot of traffic but it's a much shorter highway takes you from kingston to portmore but between this one and the one to ocho rios so i'm not sure now trans jamaica highway does not operate the other toll road they operate this road jamaica north south highway operates the road from kingston to ocho rios so it's not even to say trans jamaica highway will be competing against itself it won't so i'm confused as to why they are taking so long to build out this road so guys let us know your comments you can leave them in the section in the comment section below why are they taking so long to build out this road now remember the first section of this road was finished in 2006 and between 2006 and 2023 they have only been able to go as far as Mandeville. I just say Mandeville because that road will be finished this year. Mandeville. You have so much more highway to build and it's just taking so long. And we all know who is going to build the road. It's China Harbor, China Harbor Engineering Company. They are the only ones that can build a road like this. Or I shouldn't say the only ones, but they are at the top of the list for building these roads. Alright guys, leave your comments in the section below. Let us know what you think. Alright guys, have a good day.